Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another James Kosh episode today We are back on our main account and more importantly, it is update day uh, We've been getting sneak peeks the last couple days, but we are finally here and as you can see we were a completely maxed out account other than those walls we were just upgrading those final bombs and it worked out perfectly for this update where now we can go into the next upgrades but unfortunately the update wasn't quite as big as i thought i thought they were going to do a couple more defensive upgrades or maybe even some more merge defense upgrades but really the only upgrade that there is for this update is going to be this dark barracks so our goal for this episode today is to start the bar dark barracks maybe even unlock the druid uh, i still feel like i don't want to waste any of my hammers right away because i guess i could use a hammer a building that doesn't really seem that worthwhile i think we're going to just save up all those metals for a, a later down the road update as well we will be completely maxed again once we upgrade this dark barracks once and then of course that just adds a couple more upgrades in our laboratory i think this update while it doesn't seem very big for max town hall 16 players the main update has to be probably what we're going to be talking about tomorrow and it's going to be for those lower level players at town hall 13 town hall 14 town hall 15 and lower just because of those reductions for example uh the biggest one that i noticed was uh a storages they they lasted 12 days and now they are only six day upgrades so you're going to be able to speed through those earlier town halls a little bit quicker especially those cannon and archer tower upgrades i'm pretty sure they were like 12 days long 13 days long now the longest upgrade i believe is only five days long just so people can merge those defenses a little bit quicker uh, so i think that's going to be the main purpose of this update and a lot of you guys are also saying but what about the builder's press well i was thinking about it the builder's apprentice is actually a lot better for people who are not maxed out right for a maxed out player like me uh, a lot of people you might see today going in and gymming the the builder's apprentice I am not going to be one of those individuals because what value does the builder's apprentice give to me right now right all i have is walls and walls take no time anyways and you can't use him on the laboratory so i'm just going to passively upgrade this builder's apprentice i know i only have 22 gems but by doing knocking away shrubberies and just over the next couple months before the next core update hopefully i will have the builder's apprentice at a reasonable level and yes if there is a major core update say the next major core update is town hall level 17 then that's when i plan on going in and buying the builder's apprentice and probably gymming him up there maybe that'll be a video in a couple months or so but for the time being i'm sure a lot of you guys at you town hall 16s right now are like now what's the point of this guy why would i spend 60 bucks on him if i have everything maxed out right uh, am i going to use him once on this dark barracks upgrade probably not we're probably just going to use a book and not a hammer uh but that is my general thought process on that i believe on town hall 10s 11s 12s 13s 14s 15s any of those town halls if you have any gems laying around this is a perfect update for you to spend those gems uh my priority list on gems now goes as such uh you should first off if you have any leftover gems of course buy all five builders if you have all five builders next thing you should do is go in here and buy equipment that you do not have that you really do want uh priority for equipment for me has to be the uh, the giant gauntlet and then probably the icy arrow or frozen arrow right here i believe the only one that is a must has to be the giant gauntlet if you don't have the giant gauntlet you weren't playing during that time i'd spend the 1500 gems for that and then the third thing i would do for gems to progress your count is probably upgrade that apprentice builder and then the fourth can just be for one gem donates but that's only if you have a stockpile of gems but it is time we we don't unfortunately have enough loot i uh, that's not very good content creator of me but i'm gonna go do some attacks real quick so we have enough loot to get in here and do our uh our dark barracks upgrade <laughs> Awesome content. Like and subscribe now.
Alright, I finished up my last attack, which worked out perfectly because I was able to upgrade one wall. Now, let's go in here and spend a Rune of Elixir. We're going to be able to stack up those eventually uh, when we uh, buy the next gold pass. Now we have 23 million, which is just enough to go over here to the new Dark Barracks level to level 11. Again, we are not using the hammer. We are going to use, use a Book of Building. 10-day upgrade going to be gone just like that and there you go folks we have gemmed kind of the entire update because as i explained earlier i am not getting the apprentice horn kind of a lackluster update for town hall 16 uh, but look out for future videos where we are trying out this uh, uh what is he even called i kind of forgot what he's even called uh the the druid uh look out for future videos where we're trying out the druid i'll try to upgrade him in the meantime so when we do use him he is max level i think he is kind of more just of a support troop that makes sense because he is a healer but i think we could probably just eliminate maybe one portion of this uh a couple hog riders and then throw him in and we have a druid uh that, that's kind of my thought process but i'll see you guys next time hope you have a great day goodbye